You're about to get munch. What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. I'm sitting here in a chair in the middle of my room. My table is gone. I came back from iCast, discovered that my little table uh, that came with the house, it's disappeared. Oh, she has been wheeling and dealing on this, uh, this Facebook thing. I don't know, you just sell stuff. Usually when I come home, something's been added or deleted from the treehouse, and currently I need a table for this place. And you guys know that I've had a little woodworking obsession lately. I'm kind of getting into it. Uh, I enjoy it. And I got a call from Old Lunkers TV last week saying that he has located some, some old wood uh, from our buddies Ryan's uh, land and build our own table and maybe build some other stuff depending on how much is out there. So let's go check it out and then let's get creative. Just made it out to Ryan's Lane where we're gonna go explore some old, old spots. You taking a whiz right now? No. Oh, okay. Ryan just got a new bow. He's getting ready for the fall season. Uh, I got the Hoyt RX-1 carbon turbo. Have you shot it yet? Yeah, I've shot it a couple times. Cinnamon Creek, there's my plug. Oh, Cinnamon Creek, they hooked me up too. Yeah. That's who hooked me up. What rest did you go with? Q QAD. 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 Spot hog. Got some 3D targets as well. What's that called? Kuyu. Kuyu? Kuyu. Is that like a new camo brand or something? Cheaper Sitka, but it's like just as good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the cheaper Sitka. Sitka. Give her a full send without an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> good idea. Got Lunkers here. He's about to go trap and, and swing some swinging. metal detector things. Maybe. Call it swinging. swinging. Is that what you call it now? Oh, swinging. I love it. Hey, I found something. Is it You'd be proud of me. It's not that beer can back there. <laughs> old light? I found, I found that. Yeah, that's an old light. What, what do you got on that? I don't know. I mean, I'm not an antique guy, but it's pretty cool. <gasps> Look at, he's got, I got a wagon wheel in there. A legit one. I got to see the wagon wheel. You want, so no, I got, the one I found the other day was a tractor wheel. Full blown, this tall. Like you got it? Yeah, it's it's right, over there? It's right inside that garage. I mean, I don't know how old that is, but. Oh, I, it looks pretty old. I just. Oh, here's some wood. Oh, you always, dude, you always I always have wood you ready. You always got wood ready. <laughs> An actual wagon wheel from who knows when. That's a creepy picture, Frank. I don't know if uh, OSG wants that in her house. Whoa. Dude, that is a ghostly old frame. Yeah, not, not happening. Not Look at this. So, man, this, this, this is, is a so real cool. wagon wheel. Look at that. This is a real, this is for sure one. Yeah, for sure. Are you sure you don't want it? Cause I'm gonna stick it at like the gate of my house. Your house, you're gonna have like stone, old time yeah, Texas look. At the beginning of the, like, the yeah. This will be, this will be awesome. People call this old man stuff, but I think it's historical greatness, Whoa, Texas stuff. That looks is like that a barometer? Old, it is. It's a barometer. An old barometer. Legit. Oh, it's not that old. It's battery oh, driven. It's from 1995. Yeah. <laughs> it's from Marshalls. Yeah, 1995. it's Marshalls. Here we are. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch this. Okay. We got a bad. You got a bad juju about I'm it. I'm not. I'm not touching it. You know, I'll leave okay. it up to you. Not because I don't want to help you work. This guy's what it is. There's a little bit of a ghost story behind this thing. Let's enter. All right. You first. Look at these old beams. Majestic. Majestic. It looks like there's a little bit of a bird doo doo issue. Yeah. But all that can be all that can be taken down. Can I, ooh, can I come in here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's just go into this room. Ryan, how old is this? Over a hundred years. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. One hundred percent. This wood, when you look at it, you can see where they've taken a saw to saw it, push it, pushing a saw chisels, all that kind of stuff. Lots of character. Got to be careful not to step through the floor. Yeah. So imagine being on the North Texas Plains over a hundred years ago, maybe 200 years ago. People riding around on horses. Justin Boots is just down the road. It's a lot of history. And this is one of the old barns that was on these plains where they raised cattle and farmed and you know, just did Texas things back in the day, man. So Ryan has told me that I can take some of this wood to go do some wood projects with at the house. 
OSG is super pumped. Doing these wood projects is really cool. Do stuff with new wood, but if you have old wood with history behind it, it just adds so much more to it, adds a story, adds value. So I'm really excited. I wanna know more about the history, which I don't really know yet about this particular building, but I wanna find out more. We're gonna load this wood up and then we're gonna go figure out some projects. I need a table, I need a desk, um, and just some other stuff we can do at the tree house with all this wood theme, you know, the outdoor theme that we're doing. This is incredible. So let's load this stuff up. I think that's actually like woodpeckers that have been on that. You can see all the knots. Yeah. I don't even know what this is. Is this like an old speaker or something? No. to make a pit stop at a little pond that's on the property. This is where uh, Rob's got his bluegill trapped at. Uh, as you can see, it's been a little toasty in Texas and the water's a little far down. That's also why my, uh, my door at the tree house isn't closing properly. Texas is taking all the water out of the ground. But we're gonna capture a few fish down here and then I gotta load up and take all this wood back to OSG and show her. But I think she's gonna be very excited. If you ever wanna make a fly fishing video, feel free to... Come. Did you say fly fishing video? Yeah. I'm down. These fish are trying to eat the dragonflies. It's like a tattoo I saw on somebody at iCast. Oh, hooked up? Hooked, hooked, hooked. Up. hooked. All right, buddy. I've gotta, I gotta get some water for this fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh. Oh, there is there some mud. That guy has been on Jenny Craig his whole life. That's why they're literally trying to jump out of the water and eat these yeah. dragonflies. God, God dude, so that's, unhealthy. that is like, Man. This is why they need to be moved. Yeah, they absolutely need to be no, moved. There's, nothing in, there's no bait fish in this place. Ryan just caught that fish on one of our uh, Slim Shakes. This is one of the baits that I, I showed at the tank at iCast. Just got some news in literally today. Things have just been rocking and rolling. Tackle Warehouse, they, they ordered a, a bunch of the baits and they were available for pre-order there and they actually sold out of the pre-orders. So Guggen Baits uh, is just like a wildfire right now. We're gonna go get some more fish for uh, for the pondery type stuff, and then I gotta go unload some wood. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I got the oh, okay, over. there goes the cooler. Fish are good. Anyway, I did sniff a few. It's up on Rob's channel if you wanna check it out. It's made everything soaking wet. Everything good back there? We're good. Bass still in there? All right, the wood has been loaded. Wood's loaded from this really old building. I'm not sure how old it is, but it's time to take it to a new home. And here we go. We just made it back to the crib, to the tree house. And thanks again to Ryan for letting us come out there, explore a little bit. I did find out that that is from a, uh, we think an old slave house, an old slave house building that was on the property. But we're gonna take that and we're gonna turn it into something beautiful. And I can't wait to look at these markings and learn a little bit more about the history of the wood. You should taste test this. I heard the, I heard things <laughs> dangling <laughs> you upstairs. You seem to come up here whenever I'm cooking. Uh, it called me <laughs> in. I taste it. I like to cook my steak in coconut oil. It just gives it a nice juicy flavor. Big Do that pose days. again. Do that pose. That's the pose. This is the pose. I see it a lot. Well, my back hurts nowadays. Good bowl. A good yes. bowl. We got some quinoa for protein, spinach. We got some sweet potatoes, steak, and I made a little vinaigrette. 
Perfect. This fuel I need to create wood things. What do you this think about that wood? A lot of way? iron. What? What do you think about the wood? What, the wood that you got? Yeah. Are you going to do something with this tonight? I'm going to think about it. I'm going to get out there and look at it a little bit. I love the beams. Yum. So back to this awesome wood that we found today. Uh, I've been looking at it and I've done a little research and there's some markings on the ends of the wood. And I think I've found out that some of that actually means uh, the type of wood, like an SPC could mean spruce possibly. I'm not sure what MK means, uh, and I'm not sure what that MK87 or 86, whatever that number is, I don't know what that means. So if there's any of you out there that know about this stuff, please leave it in the comments down below. It'd be cool to know some other facts about some of this really old wood, where it came from. Check this out, they used to put these in these old big pieces of lumber right here, and this helps uh, an old big piece of wood from splitting. So it's kind of an S pattern piece of metal and they stamp that in there and it, it holds the piece of wood together to prevent it from separating later on in time. So I can use these to make legs for the table. I'd have to split them. I definitely need some help with that. I'd have to call them on my, my buddy Lance with all of his, his tools where he can uh, make some legs out of these. These boards can be used for tabletop. Got some really cool character to them. Here on this beam, you can see all the grooves. Makes it a really cool beam. And if we walk into the garage, all these boards can be connected together to be used as a tabletop as well. So they have little grooves and notches in them. And that stuff's kind of hard to find. I mean, it's not perfect, but I love all the imper imperfections. I think that's what makes it really unique and cool. So not only do we have the walls to finish, but I also, need to get that table going so I can have a cool desk to do live streams and uh, intros to videos and um, just other videos with you guys. You know, I've never built a table out of wood, but I'm definitely gonna call upon my buddy Lance so I don't screw up on such historical wood. We're gonna make it cool for you guys and I'll video the process so you get to see it. Now, in other news, there's a gosh dang critter that keeps coming around in my yard. It's either an armadillo or a skunk. I got SD cards in my hands. We gotta go change our uh, SD cards out on our cameras, our trail cameras, to see what the heck is digging around in my yard. You guys won't see it, I'll show you what crap's going on. Look at the rooting. More rooting. Mega loads of rooting. I mean, it looks like some miniature hogs came through here. OSG just got back from a walk. This angle probably makes me look huge. She is feeling frosty right now. <laughs> I'm feeling like a walrus. Give her some encouragement in the comments. And go over to the Lake Life channel where you can follow her stuff throughout the day. She's uh, she's trucking here in the last few months and maybe we'll be here soon. Speaking of motivation, speaking of uh, just awesome attitudes, I gotta say, uh, getting back from Ike House, this is my first video, getting back from there, I was overwhelmed. I was blown away. Everyone that came up to me, and there were so many, uh, just the positivity. I got very little fishing questions. I got mostly, how's your head? Uh, how's the baby coming? How's OSG? Uh, man, you've been through a lot this year. Man, I support you. Um, I just wanna thank each and every one of you that are probably watching right now, making me so humble there at that show and just continuing on there. I just, I have to thank you for that. Makes me wanna get up out of bed every day and make more videos and just be open. I feel like this last year has been a roller coaster and we're coming up on one year from having tumors. So um, I've just, I just kinda opened myself up to you guys and uh, it was kind of a vulnerable thing but because of your massive support I am just uh, I feel so blessed so thank you so much so that's all I got for you today OSG get rid of my table this is where I started my video today and I will have a new table soon because I found this awesome wood to go build one and I think I'm also gonna do some shelves for the wall with some of that wood so I'm gonna put it to good use guys uh, thanks for being here for all the adventures. If you have questions, comments, leave them down below. If you know about that wood, uh, if you've got some knowledge on that, leave your comments down below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe right here if you want more videos. Hit the ding-dongs for notifications so you get all of them. I love you guys. 
Thanks for being here. I'll see y'all on the next one.